Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique and I got a quick tip for you using Drum Computer by Sugarbytes. This is an eight track drum synthesizer and sequencer with a lot of goodness baked inside of it. And I'm gonna show you how to get multiple audio outs for each individual drum track inside of Ableton Live. The process will be similar for whatever DAW you're using, but we're gonna be doing it inside Ableton Live today. So hopefully this information helps you no matter where you are and what you're producing with. So the first thing you wanna do is jump into the settings right here. And you'll see that we have channel assignments. And right now we have whatever engine it is and where it's going. So right now everything is going right out of the master or out to the master inside of Ableton Live. But what I can do is click right here and choose a different assignment. So what I wanna do for track two is three, four, five, six, and we don't want to forget about the room and the hall. These are send effects or return tracks, and we need to send those to their own channels. So if you just click once, it's going to assign whatever the next step in the evolution of outputs is. So uh, 17, 18, 19, 20. If you don't know, these are three and four. There are two here because it's a stereo signal, so we need two channels inside of the DAW. So now I need an audio track. It's Control T inside of Ableton Live. And I want to take the audio from Drum Computer and I want to take it from 3 4. And then I want to go to Monitor In. So now I'm getting that second track output here and I can affect it with whatever effects I have uh, VSTs or your DAWs, stock plugins, whatever you want. And then what I want to do is duplicate this eight more times. So control D, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, the reason why we have eight instead of six is because we have those two return tracks. The only thing we need to do now is change the outputs here, five, six, 17, 18, 19, 20. Track one, two, these ones down here. are your two different send effects or both reverbs. And now you have them there so you can process them, you can mix them differently, and you have full control over everything. Now the fun doesn't stop there. Drum Computer will remember that you've changed these, but if you wanna save this entire thing as sort of a preset, just control A to select everything and then control G to group it and then name it something like, control R to rename and name it drum comp, you know, multi out return to finalize it. Now I've got the drum comp multi out group here. If I go into where I, wherever I save my samples and just click and drag that into there, there it is. So if I come in and go to a new live set, for example, now I can just take this, click and drag and drop it inside of my DAW and boom. I've got my entire multi out channel set up, ready to go and I can just jump right in and start producing. So that's just a quick tip on how to get multi outs from Drum Computer by Sugarbytes. I'm gonna be doing a few more of these video tutorials. If there's anything specific you want me to check out, let me know. It's a really, really great synthesizer, especially for percussion sounds, but you can get some really nice synth sounds as well. And I look forward to showcasing some of those things in future videos. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.